Hi and welcome to my channel. It is Karen here with you today. Today I'm sharing with you a design team project for ScrapFX. So to begin with I'm working in my small dilutions journal on some pre-gessoed pages that I'm just adding a little bit of watercolour ground to. Now I've picked out my Dr. Phil Martin's Bombay inks here and I'm going to put a little bit in my palette um, and squirt a little bit of water on it and get my paintbrush out and start painting it onto my page. Now previously I've dripped the inks directly onto my page and then put water on it um, but that turned into a massive big mess. So I've since learned to put my inks in a palette. Yay! So there we go. So there's my first layer. And so I've got this wonderful rice paper here by Tanya. And I'm going to use this image here today. And I've also got some curly circle quote thingies here that I thought that I would pop in the background a little bit. And I've also got this one here, which is designed by Michelle Logan. Um, yeah, and that's really cool. It's just like a bunch of different squiggles, doodling, mark making on some rice paper. So I'm going to glue these down. So there goes my image by Tanya. So I'll get her glued down nice and good. Now I'm going to put this little bit of mark making in the background that was made by Michelle. I actually found this on the Scrap Effects website. I hadn't seen it before and I kind of fell in love with it and thought, yeah, I gotta have that. So yeah. <laughs> so now that I've got that glued in and dry, I'm gonna add another color of my inks over the top just to help brighten up some of the colors that we've got happening there and also to blend my rice papers um, into the background. You can still see the black marks and everything. Um, yeah, I'm just adding a little bit more colour and blotting away the excess. So now that that's dry, I've got out my wonderful pan pastels and I'm going to paint this girl's face with them. So I'm starting off with a skin colour, um, just building up some layers there so she looks like she's got skin it's pretty much like using makeup actually this stuff it's really cool so this one here is a soft purple that i'm putting in around the sides of the face around the nose and the corner of the eye and that's just to help to create a shadow now i've got a darker purple out to even enhance that a little bit more there we go and now i'm going to add in some hot pink to her cheek and I'm going to blend that out a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural although she's not natural but anyway all right so now I've zoomed in because I'm going to start doing her eye eyes well one one and a half eyes <laughs> and to start off with I've got my life of color um, paint pen there in white um, and I've just colored in the whites of her eyes there and I'm going to draw in a little bit more of an iris on the other part where it just looked a little bit weird so yeah so I'm just going over those lines with um with some black pen because I kind of lost them when I used my pastels that's the thing with pastels they cover up the black lines so I'm just drawing some of the squiggly lines back in and I'm just using a uni ball roller pen nothing fancy all right so now i've got some intense pencils so i'm going to add some color into her irises and they turned out a little bit blue more blue than what i was expecting but that's okay now i'm going to add some pinks and reds into her lips again with my intense pencils and just wet that to activate it so woohoo she's looking pretty pretty flash now so once I get those little puddles of water dry, I can move on to the next part. And um, it kind of leaked a little bit onto the whites of her eyes. So I've just gone over that again with my pen. Around the mouth, just with the uniball pen. And what's that? Oh, that's a mermaid marker. <laughs> I decided to use those to add some colour into her hair. Um yeah add in some extra details i don't know about the line on a forehead but 
that was there so I I went with it but I kind of regretted it when I did it but anyway doesn't matter now I'm adding a little few more pencil strokes in with my um, intense pencils going over those eyes again because yep I managed to muck them up again so there we go add a little bit of highlight a few little lines extra highlights into her hair and around her face um, I've activated that intense pencil that I've put in her hair just with a spritz of water putting in some little pinks of her eyes and now I've got a big white Posca pen to add some white highlights in but it didn't really overly work I mean it did but it didn't um, and decide and then I decided well she really needs some eyeshadow so I got out my Jane Davenport palette pastels here and I'm giving her a bit of bit of eye eyeshadow which looked really cool except I covered over her eyelashes so I had to draw them in again all right so i have a stamp here from scrap fx um it's called oh, zebra stripes i think circles something like that and a archival ink i've got a little heart stencil and just some white snowflake paint there just to add in a little bit of white and make make the page pop a little bit and i've also found the sentiment stamps from art by marlene and it says let people see the real raw imperfect flawed quirky crazy funny scared serious beautiful magic human being that you are cool so i'm just putting a few squiggly lines around those hearts a few little white splats and that's my page so i really hope you have enjoyed my quick scrap fx adventure here today as always please like and subscribe and until next time i'll see you soon bye